Hey guys, this is Nick from Django FX. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Translate node. If you want to use the Translate node, right click in the node graph, go ahead and select Translate under one input, and we'll see that I already have a field that was initialized earlier. But for now, we will go ahead and bring in a fade, and we'll make this a line fade, and then we'll plug this into Translate, and we can see that the line fade looks like this. And that really is what it does. And we can see that whenever I click the translate, nothing happens because we don't have any translation values. We turn off the particles. You can see that if I just slide uh, the translation z in the z axis, so positive z axis, we can see that the vectors start pointing up. And we can see if we slide it down into the negative axis, the vectors start pointing down. And if we translate it into y, they start pointing in the y axis, negative y x-axis, negative x. And so, what is this good for? Well, let's say that we wanted to make a helix that was rotating around and then going upwards at the same time. All we have to do, which I have a preset for this, you can see that it's a line fade, min and max is set to one, and we've got to rotate, and so we rotate it at 90 degrees, and then we just translate it in the z-axis. And now, if we show the particles, you can see that they're rotating upwards in a helix. And you can see that we have translation Z, and so we can uh, translate it in any axis that we want to and make the helix as strong as we want to. And of course, with uh, the rotation, we can make it go inwards. So now it's like an inward line type helix. And that's basically it. That's all there is to it to the translate node. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.